This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A driver who crashed while making his one and only turn during a chase with Moses Lake Police in February is now spending a year in prison. We all know about the ill effects of smoking. Or do we? The Wenatchee Wild only need one more win to beat out the trail smoke eaters in the third round of British Columbia Hockey League playoffs. Royal Knights baseball traveled to Big Bend Community College this morning to take on 1B Powerhouse Colton. From the iFiber One Newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A driver who crashed while making his one and only turn during a chase with Moses Lake Police in February is now spending a year in prison. 25-year-old Dominic Sapp pleaded guilty to attempting to elude and hit and run in connection to the February 2nd pursuit. Charges of escaping community custody and driving with his license suspended were dismissed as part of a plea agreement. A Moses Lake police officer was stopped at the red light on North Stratford Road at the intersection with West Valley Road when he heard what sounded like was a collision. He then noticed occupants in a tan car appearing to wave at a red sedan behind them. The officer followed the two vehicles into the parking lot next to Burger King, where dash cam video then shows the driver of the red sedan, identified as Sap, speed up through the parking lot. Police say Sapp slowed down to drive between two parked vehicles, but again sped up and turned back onto North Stratford Road. Sapp ran a red light and continued north for several blocks at more than 50 miles per hour, driving in the center turn lane several times to pass other vehicles. Dash cam video shows Sapp tried to make a left turn onto Harris Road, but instead he crashed the car into a berm at the intersection where he was taken into custody. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Efreda. We all know about the ill effects of smoking. Or do we? Samaritan Healthcare agrees with a new study that suggests that smoking can affect your hearing. A multi-year study in Japan suggests that smokers were more likely to lose some of their hearing, especially the ability to hear high-pitched sounds like birds chirping or the S sound in words. Data collected suggested that the more cigarettes a person smoked per day, the higher the risk of hearing loss. Samaritan doctor Andrea Carter agrees with the findings, saying, quote, the chemicals in cigarettes cause many problems in our body, including many structures involved in our ability to hear. This includes causing inflammation in our eustachian tubes, as well as interfering with the function of our auditory nerves, among other things. But there's good news. Once you quit, the hearing comes back. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. The Wenatchee Wild only need one more win to beat out the Trail Smoke Eaters in the third round of British Columbia Hockey League playoffs. Tuesday night, the Wild took their third win in the best of seven playoffs against the Trail Smoke Eaters 2-1. The Smoke Eaters started scoring halfway through the first period, but Wild A.J. Vanderbeck responded with one of his own by the end of the first period, tying up the goals. When the teams came back onto the ice, Jasper Weatherby took the lead for the Wild with a goal assisted by Zach Lambos. Although there was a total of 19 shots on goal between the two teams in the third period, the Wild and the Smoke Eaters remained scoreless. Game 4 will be played in Trail BC tonight, April 4th. If the Wenatchee Wild take this win, they move on to the championships. If games 5, 6, and 7 are needed, they'll flip-flop between both locations. The winner of the third round will face the winner of the Coastal Conference Final, which is between Prince George and Powell River. Of those remaining teams, Wenatchee is ranked the highest and would have home ice advantage in the finals. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One Sport. With schools currently out on spring break, we'll take a look at some of the teams to watch for the rest of the season. Moses Lake boasts intriguing softball and baseball teams. 
The softball team was undefeated in conference play, and the baseball team's 4-2 start is the best it's had since 2015, which also happens to be the last time Moses Lake Baseball made it to the state tournament. Afreda and Othello Baseball are also teams to watch going forward. Othello has only dropped one conference game, and Afreda was undefeated before playing two state playoff teams, Sela and Ellensburg. Royal and Waluk Soccer are both excellent programs. Both boast a 6-2-1 record with a 2-1 conference record in the four-way battle for top spot in the SCAC East. Royal Baseball is also intriguing under first-year head coach Brandon Jenks, currently sitting in fourth in the district. Finally, there's Warden Softball, which has been dominant as usual. Warden has extended its undefeated conference streak into this season, going 6-0 through the first six conference games. Warden has not dropped a single conference game since joining the SCAC last year, going 20-0 through its first two seasons. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.